Question number 19, we are told the figure below represent a speed time graph for a cheetah which covered 825 meters in 40 seconds. Uh, so we have the, the graph there. Uh, the, horizont the vertical scale is the speed and the horizontal scale represent time. So, but A, state the speed of the cheetah when recording of its motion started. Uh, so if you look at the graph, the recording the, uh, along the y-axis, the speed was 15 meters per second, the time the recording started. Uh, but B, calculate the maximum speed attained by the, by the cheetah. So how do we get the maximum speed? Uh, we normally, to get the speed, we know that the area under the, uh, the graph represent the distance covered. So we can get the, this uh, height here. So we can get this height here and say, if we divide our feet, then we can be able to get the area. Uh, so we can call this height. Since we already know the area is 825, we can get the area of this. This is 15. Uh, this is our height. So from here to here, it is uh, 10. So this is uh, this will be two trapezium, uh, one and two. So we say the with the area that is uh, the distance covered is a half. We add 15 and height. So it is 15 plus height, and we multiply by 10. That is uh, this 10. So we multiply by 10. Uh, then we add the area of this we we'll get it is a half here it is 10 here it is 30 because we have subtracted uh, 10 so we we'll say it is a uh, 10 plus 30 and you multiply by the height that should give you the total distance covered by the teacher uh, the cheetah which we are given is 825 so you can compute this uh, this is a uh, uh, you can divide here by 10, you get 5. So you get this is 75. Hey, uh, 75. Uh, then we have uh, plus uh, 5H. Then we have plus 20H. That is when you simplify here. Uh, that should give you 825. Uh, so you'll be able to get, uh, you add 25 height. You subtract uh, 75 from 825, you'll be able to get uh, uh, 750. So H, you divide by 15 both sides, you get height is 30 meters per second. So it means the height, the, that is the maximum height reach here is 30, uh, is 30 meters per second. So which we can uh, be able to write here. So that is how we work part B. Uh, then we have C, calculate the acceleration of the cheetah in the first 10 seconds. So 10 seconds, acceleration, we say acceleration is equals to uh, initial velocity, uh, which we say it is V minus U over T. Initial, final velocity is 30 minus, that is, uh, that is uh, for up to there, this is the first 10 seconds minus 15, that is the uh, initial velocity, and you divide by 10, and that you should be able to get uh, 1.5 meters per second. Uh, Roman number two, how do we, the, the last 20 seconds, so the initial velocity, uh, acceleration is equal, so initial, ver final velocity is zero, so it is zero, uh, initial velocity is 30 and it took uh, from here to here it is 20 so you divide by 20 and when you, uh, you divide like that then you should be able to get it is minus 1.5 uh, meters per second the minus represent uh, deceleration you can see that the cheetah is decelerating or reducing in speed so let's have a look at part D so part D, we can say, okay, we can use, uh, let's say, we can divide, calculate the average speed of the cheetah in the first 20 seconds. Uh, so 20 seconds is up to there. So we can divide this area, 
to get the average speed, we can divide this area into two. Uh, so we get uh, the area of the first, uh, uh, the, the first uh, trapezium. So we say it is a, it is a half uh, into bracket 15. This is 15 and this is 30 the height which we have found uh, maybe i use uh, i use uh, a, a brighter color so let's use uh, this color so you say it is uh, a half uh, we say it is a half into bracket 15 plus 30 uh, that is 30 uh, that is uh, you multiply by 10 that is uh, th this is uh, 10 here and then you add the area of the other one will be 10 multiplied by 30 so that is the total distance uh, that will be that uh, the area under the the graph up to where we have 20 and we divide by time time is 20 seconds so using your calculator you'll be able to get that is 225 uh, plus 300 uh, you divide by 20 and you'll be able to get this is equals to uh, 26.25 uh, meters uh, per second uh, squared that, no per second not uh, per second so because it is a uh, average speed so that is how you work out this question this is from two work uh, in the topic uh, linear motion uh, which you covered in form two uh, you, you can check on my video if you are not sure of uh, how we have gone about it you'll be able to understand more